Okay, so we're talking about surface area here, and which is our first calculations that we're going to do uh, concerning brickwork. The surface area is used for um, working out uh, the number of bricks in a wall, um, or you can be doing floor areas for tiles uh, or carpet and, and things like that. So uh, mainly for us we'll be looking at uh, surface area uh, in the first few uh, little videos that we're going to have, uh, mainly for brickwork and block work where we will calculate the amount of bricks in a wall uh, and then in further uh, lessons we're going to be looking at how to uh, work out the mortar uh, and Follow on from that, we will be looking at how to determine how much sand and cement we need. Okay, so if we start first of all just by drawing ourselves uh, what we're going to say is a little wall, and just very basically, we're going to be giving ourselves two dimensions, which is going to be the height of the wall. just here and the length of the wall. We're going to keep the the numbers uh, nice and simple um, just to make this easy to follow to start off with. So if we say for example that the wall that we have here is 6 meters and I've written this in millimeters to be um, not awkward but just to show you that this is what often is shown on drawings um, which is 6,000 uh, millimeters by 2,000 millimeters high that again we know is 6 meters and the 2,000 millimeters is 2 meters now the reason I want to emphasize the millimeters there is because you see that on a drawing but whenever we do any calculations we must always convert our dimensions into meters. Okay, so again in the next few uh, little videos we'll have a look at this and um, we will have um, various um, dimensions marked in millimeters and you'll see how we can easily convert them into meters. But here you can see we've got two dimensions and surface area is always in meters squared and I don't know if you can see that uh, very well there but the meters squared the two the little floating two just tells us that we need two dimensions here the length of the wall and here the height and what we have here is obviously uh, the formula is the length times the height or if it was a floor area it would be the length times the width um, so here we got the length at 6 meters times 2 meters of height equals obviously 12 meters squared. Simple as that. Okay, so that's surface area, but we need to convert this into bricks now. So, again, what we're going to learn is that in stretcher bond, if I write this down, stretcher bond, we will have 60 bricks per meter squared. So then if we have English or Flemish bond and normally they are one brick thick um, which obviously stretcher bond is only half a brick thick this will be one brick thick so it will obviously be double the amount of bricks. So if we're looking at a wall in English or Flemish bond with it being one brick thick wall and um, it will be 120 bricks per meter squared. So with this we can see that to find out how many bricks we need if this was stretcher bond all we need to do is times 12 by 60 and that would give us the total amount of bricks that we need. Okay and again if it was in an English bond we would have 12 times 120 and uh, like I said just with uh, an easy calculation of that um, we will sort of come to the conclusion of that one. So that's um, just a straightforward way of working out our surface area and um, we will move on in a little while um, with just one or two little 
uh, recaps on this to keep it all uh, nice and simple for us and then we will move on to the English and Flemish bond and then what we will then move on to is a stretcher bond but we're going to do what we call adjustments and adjustments are going to be where we have doors and windows so we're going to work out doors and windows uh, we're also going to do gables so we'll be working out how to work out um, the amount of bricks and blocks for a gable and then another thing we're going to have to do is <coughs> work out wastage which means working out percentages again these will all follow on during the, the next little videos that we do with this okay so uh, video number two in a little while will be uh, stretch a bond and again we're just going to recap on what we've done okay